I'm Rob from Smart Boat Innovations. In this video, we're diving further into the implementation of virtual switches for our smart boats. Building on our discussion of the Shelly One Relay, a solid choice for individual switches, we're exploring options for those who require a more consolidated approach. If you're dealing with multiple switches, particularly behind a switchboard, multi-relay boards might just be the solution you need. Today, I'll be reviewing two distinct relay boards that can significantly streamline your setup. First up is this eight-way ESB Home relay board designed for use with ESB Home. This eight-way relay board is a powerhouse, equipped with Wi-Fi for easy integration into your smart boat system. What sets it apart is that it comes pre-loaded with ESB Home software, simplifying the installation process. With this small board, we can control eight virtual switches. Then we have that four-way Zigbee relay board. This four-way board is neatly encased and features physical buttons offering a tactile option for control alongside virtual switch functionality. Incorporating Zigbee devices into our smart boats is a straightforward process, mirroring the ease of use we've experienced with other Zigbee devices like the bilge water sensor. Both boards offer unique benefits. The 8-way ESP Home Relay Board excels in scenarios where Wi-Fi connectivity is preferred or required, and where a high number of channels is beneficial. It's pre-loaded with ESP Home software makes for almost a plug-and-play experience, reducing the technical barrier to set it up. I've been using a similar 8-way relay board on my smart boat for over a year, controlling six switches 24 by 7 without any issues. Initially, I chose a cheaper version that didn't come pre-flashed with ESP Home, requiring me to buy a USB to TTL converter and manually flash it. This process involved connecting many small cables and button presses on the board, which was quite challenging. Based on this, I'm going to recommend going for the pre-flashed version to avoid the hassle, even if it costs a little bit more. It saves time and simplifies the setup significantly. The four-way Zigbee Relay Board is great when physical controls are desired in addition to smart control capabilities. Additionally, it's an excellent choice due to, due to its encased design, eliminating concerns about dust or exposed circuit boards. In this video, I'll show you how to wire up each board and I'll guide you through the steps to get both relay boards hooked up and working with Home Assistant, making sure you can control everything easily from your smart mode with just a few clicks. So let's get started. Here we have the four-way Zigbee relay board. This relay supports a power supply range from seven to 32 volts, or can be powered by a micro USB connection. On the front of the unit, you'll find four physical buttons, one for each relay, offering a convenient manual control option. At the top, the contacts for each relay are clearly labeled NC for normally closed, COM for common, and NO for normally open. Adjacent to these, the entry terminals for each relay are easily accessible, simplifying the wiring process. Let's quickly open it up and have a look inside. Inside, there are four relays, each with a 10 amp rating and their corresponding switches. The internal layout is well organized and the build quality looks quite solid. For ease of use, I'll power the unit with a standard 5 volt micro USB cable. Upon activation, a red light will illuminate from inside the unit, indicating it's powered on. So here we are in Home Assistant on the settings screen. Go to Devices and Services, and under Zigbee Integration, which we have set up in a previous video, click Add Device. Now we should power up the Zigbee four-way relay by plugging in the power cable. This will automatically start the device pairing process. And here it is found by Home Assistant. This is the beauty of Zigbee devices. They are so easily paired and integrated. The model is a TS0004. We can test the relay immediately. You should hear a click sound when you turn it on and off. Now let's add it to a dashboard that I created before called Virtual Switches. 
Now let's wire up a light to demonstrate the relay working. We connect the supply's positive voltage to the common central terminal, labelled COM. And the positive from the light goes to NO, normally open. Firstly, let's test the physical switch. Hey, it works, great. And now let's test the virtual switch via Home Assistant. And it works as well. Now that was so easy, wasn't it? Here we have the 8-way Wi-Fi relay board. This single board would probably satisfy most of your initial needs for virtual switches on a smart boat. At the top, here are 8 relays. These are the same relays as we saw in the Zigbee board. And each relay has a, a common NO and NC terminal. You can power this board with 5 volts or a voltage in the range of 7 to 28 volts. The central power terminal is the common negative and on either side are the two different positive options. I power mine directly from a fused 12 volt boat DC supply. When you turn on the power, a few lights will turn on the board. This unit is pre-flashed, so it will start up a local Wi-Fi access point. So on our PC, we need to connect to the access point. Select the at home relay board network and connect. This will auto start a local web page to configure the board. On this page, we just need to select our smart boating Wi-Fi network and enter the password. This will then create the ESP home setup within Home Assistant automatically for us. So back in Home Assistant, you should see a notification that a new device has been discovered or just head to Devices, Services and Integrations and you will see the discovered device. Click on Configure and this will set up an ESP Home device for us. Now let's go to ESP Home from the left menu and here we'll find our device and we just need to adopt it into ESP Home. You can copy this encryption key but in reality it will be all set up automatically for us. Now it will download, install and configure the board. This will take about 7 minutes but I'll speed it up. There will be pages and pages of messages, but as long as there are no errors in red, it should be fine. At the end, you'll see a success message in green, and then you will try to connect OTA over the air. If you stay on this screen, the logs will be displayed. The beauty of this pre-flash board is that we do not need to touch any ESP Home YAML. But let's go back and test it out. Here you can see the relay board is successfully online. So in settings, then Devices and Services, and then Integration. Let's select the Relay Board Entry. Here you can see the in-depth device info, and also the eight virtual switches that have been created. We can try a few out. You should hear the Relay Click. We will also add all of these switches to the same virtual switches dashboard. So back on the board, we will connect up the test light to the relay. This is the same as we did in the Zigbee relay board, so I'll speed this part up. And now let's test it with a dashboard. I always like this part. Thank you for joining me today and exploring the incredible world of smart boating. If you found this video helpful and informative, I would appreciate if you hit the like button below. And if you'd like to stay updated with more exciting content on boating and technology, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Your support means a lot and helps me create more valuable videos like this. Until next time, hasta luego!